This coding exercise is going to be a little bit different than how I usually like to have the exercises. Usually I like to present a problem that can't be built simply by a built-in Ruby method because I want to show you variations of it. However, in this one, I want to take time and show you a specific method because it's one that has come up a number of times from student questions and I think it's a very helpful one to know. So the test here is saying that it expects a array rotation method to take in two arguments, an array of values, of integer values, it doesn't, it, but it could be anything, and then the second argument is a number. The number stands for the number of changes that we want in the indexes. So essentially we're wanting to resort the indexes one, two, three or so at a time. So as you can see, the expected value is a array that has items that have been moved over. So let's just take a little bit of a look one on top of the other. So if we take in an array of values, what we want is for our method, in this case, if we passed in two, we want the values to be moved two times. By default, to the left, so in other words, three, which was all the way to the right, gets moved over three times. So to create kind of a visual for the way this works, three would get moved over once, and then three would get moved over again until it's right here. And then let me just create our little brackets here. So we have three and then right after this, we have one and then we have two. And the reason why we have this is because imagine each one of these simply shifting to the left. So all of them, you can't just shift one of them, three, two and one all get moved over, two ends up here. Um, just imagine this three going to the two spot, and in fact, let me draw the visual out. I think it's easier to understand. So in the first iteration, this is going to be like this. It's gonna be two, three, one, and then the next time, it's going to be three, one, two. So just see how all it's really doing is it's taking the items and it's shifting them one at a time until they are moved over and they have a different index value. So for example, what this, the whole reason why this is important is because if I can grab my right key, there you go. Okay, so the reason why this is important is let's say that we have array one and then over here we have right below it this is going to be array two and then right below that one we're going to have array three now watch what happens if i grab the first value so if i grab array one and i grab the zeroth index and i'm going to paste this in so we're going to grab the same exact index on each of these and except this one for array two and this one for array three. Now if I run this, you'll see that it prints out one, two, and three because it's grabbing, even though the index is the same, the value has been changed. That's why being able to do this is so important because you wanna have the ability to move items inside of an array if that's part of an algorithm. So. Let's clear this now that we kind of have an idea of what we want from a visual standpoint, and now let's actually implement it. Like I said, this is one of those rare times we do not need to create an array rotation method, and it's because Ruby has a very cool method called rotate. So the way it works, and I'll do it outside here just to make it easier, so the way that this works is I pass in an array. So we'll go with our trusty one, two, three integer array. Then we call rotate. And then rotate takes an argument of any value. So in this case, we could say two, just so we can, I can show you that this is gonna mimic exactly what we're looking for. If I run this code, you'll see that what this does is returns three, one, two, exactly like how our test is asking for it to be. So the way it works, we pass in two, 
all the items get shifted to the left. The items, once they hit the very zeroth element, so once they are right here at the very first element, remember it's a zero index, so it's called the zeroth element, then it goes and goes all the way to the end of the array. So that is how it can work. So now you can kind of see why creating this method is really pointless from a practical point of view, but it is helpful to have because it's easier and more practical to test. So here I'm gonna say R, which is our argument, call rotate, and then I can just pass in num. Now if I do this and then run the RSpec test, so this is January 16th, this passes perfectly. So that is how you can rotate the elements around in a Ruby array.